Hey everybody, Mike McWilliams upstairs to the Ride Music. You know, I got a lot of people who used to say to me, hey man, what is the most important thing that I can invest in, in my when I'm starting up my home recording studio? And I used to tell them, buy the best microphone that you can afford to buy. Uh, because that's an input that's very important to your overall sound. Uh, my holy grail of microphones back in the day used to be the C414. A C414 will run you about $2,500. And quite frankly, uh, that's probably the budget that a lot of folks are starting out with uh, in, for their entire studio. So instead of blowing all your money to buy one microphone and having nothing to record with it, uh, here's a couple of suggestions, actually three suggestions I'd like to make on budget microphones. Uh, one uh, dynamic microphone and two condensers that I think that have I think have a great sound won't break the bank and uh, have a lot of uses in your home recording studio that you can grow with over the years and you won't feel sorry that you invested into. So let's take a look at those real quick. Okay, first up. I think is uh, a beauty of a microphone. It's the Shure SM48. The SM48 uh, is a dynamic microphone, meaning that you don't need to have phantom power in order to make it work. And it's very important if you just want a plug and play uh, microphone, then I have to tell you that this is the one to go for. Uh, like it's a bigger cousin, the SM58, these things are rugged and very durable uh, and they won't break the budget. You can have this one for under $50. Uh, the difference between this one and the uh, why I use the 48 and not the 58 is that the 48 doesn't have the high end that the 58 has. And quite frankly, I, I primarily use this for miking my uh, amplifier when I'm recording uh, tracking guitars. And uh, I, I, like the, I like not having that high end on it. Uh, I like that it rolls off that high end on it uh, automatically. Um, you can use this for vocal. You can use this in uh, live uh, performance uh, situations. Uh, it is, I think, about $50 or under $50 right now. You can be had brand new. So check it out. You can't go wrong with this one. The next uh, mic that I'd like to recommend to you is the Behringer uh, C1. The Behringer C1 is actually a condenser microphone. Now with condenser microphones, you need to have founder power in order to make it work. Uh, if you see my earlier review that I did on the, uh, over there, the Studio MP, uh, the Studio MP has built-in phantom power, so it'll work out for you. The MP, again, like I said, you can have for under 80 bucks. Uh, if you don't have the uh, 80 bucks to spend on Phantom Power when you're first starting out, again, go with the first microphone, the Shure FM48 or 58. But if you do have the money or if you do have uh, uh, something that supplies a Phantom Power, then you can go with the condenser microphone. Uh, this is a fantastic studio microphone for under $100. I use this primarily for tracking uh, my uh, rhythm guitars, uh, acoustic guitar, uh, uh, I use it for the mandolin, recording the mandolin. Uh, I've used it uh, for saxophone. Um, I've used this uh, in conjunction with another one as a stereo pair for overheads for uh, drum miking. Um, hey man, you just can't really go wrong. <laughs> you can't go wrong with this microphone. Uh, it will really uh, give you uh, vocals. Uh, it'll give you what you need to do. It, it will be a useful tool that will get the job done in almost every situation and it won't break the bank. Uh, again, this can be had for under 100 bucks. So that's the Behringer C1. And lastly, the microphone that I'd like to share with you is the Rode NT1. Uh, the Rode NT1, let me tell you, if you have phantom power, if you have the ability to use a condenser microphone or wide, a, a, a big diaphragm mic like this, then uh, this one is the way to go. Uh, this thing is great for tracking vocals, it's great for tracking acoustic guitar, it's great for just about everything. You know, I haven't used it for miking uh, an amplifier, an amp, amplifier, sorry, amplifier, <laughs> an amplifier, 
Uh, but uh, just about for everything else I have used, I've used it overhead mics. Actually, I used this with the C1 when I was tracking drums for overhead uh, to prevent a little phasing thing that I thought was occurring. Uh, no need to get into that. Uh, however, uh, uh, of all the budget microphones that are available out in the market, I think the Rode NT1 is probably one of your best bets. Under $100, uh, a very sturdy microphone, uh, great sound, uh, you can't go wrong. Some people say that they're a little noisy. You'll hear that when you go on to other sites to, to get a little bit more in-depth information on it. Uh, I don't agree with that at all. Uh, if you have a good mic pre, uh, I, I, I don't get any noise out of it. Maybe it's mine. Maybe, you know, different manufacturing. I don't know. But for this one, I've had no problems with it. I've had it for, oh, two years now and uh, a great addition to my toolbox and uh, again a budget microphone that you can't go wrong with so uh, if you're starting out and you want to go with a condenser microphone then either the NT1 by Behringer or this Rode uh, I'm sorry <laughs> not the Behringer the C1 by the Behringer and the NT1 uh, by Rode are probably your best condenser budget condenser mics to go for Okay, so that's it. Uh, I got such a great response on my uh, my base DI, a budget base DI uh, vlog that I thought I would do this one. Um, if you have any comments that you'd like to make on what you think is a great budget studio mic, uh, leave them down in the comments section. Uh, if you have anything else that you'd like to talk about, if you're putting together a home recording studio that you'd like me to share with you, Put it down in the comment section and I'll do a video on that too. Uh, I want to say thank you very much to all my viewers and all my subscribers. Uh, if you like the video that you just saw, take the time to hit the like button. Uh, it takes about a second to do. Uh, and if you really like what you see, take the time to subscribe uh, to Upstairs to Rap Music channel. We're trying to build this channel up and every one of your subscriptions is going to get me to the point where we can really start doing some stuff here. Uh, I can't wait to get to a thousand subscribers so I can start doing uh, some of the great things that you can do when you get to that level. So help a, help a, a guy out here and uh, take time to hit that like and hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Like the show? We'll show your support by subscribing and hitting the like button. See you later.